we had uh, three layers of uh, light with uh, LED color strips, uh, halogen blinders and uh, uh, moving head spots, all controlled by uh, DMX from uh, NET. And the audio system was uh, 4.1. Make it tight. You hear the music and you start manipulating and you, you lose all the... Where's the one? Where's the one? So it's, it's good that you, you could add a separate track that you can control the the click so yeah so uh, let's to let you hear something this harmonic This is my dit. This is you know, still in the left from the end, so you So 
oh, where you also pick up the MIDI notes. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's just that I'm I'm, I'm sending uh, from actually. kick, it's just a small loop. But this doesn't really make sense, so um, I tried to explore a little bit more, and I used uh, arpeggiator on the bass line. triggering the clip uh, piano style. So basically as long as I've got my key pressed, it's sounding. So you can also do short hits like this. And if you, if you just time it the right way, it sounds like scratching. guitar plays, you seem a little bit more interesting when you turn the nuts also with your guitar. I think that's the coolest shit. So, <laughs> so um, this, this is like, like really a simple way of, 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 of looping and, and it's, it's primarily, I think, for people who are, who wants to jam live and who are willing and daring to do that. But I think it's a, it's a lot of fun to do it, but it's also a lot of fun to do it just at home. Just gonna make music now, okay. So first, I'm gonna do the bass line. <laughs> 